Hello and welcome to Merge Files. My name is Jeff and I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. Now, let's say we have data in multiple worksheets or multiple workbooks, and we want to merge all that data into a single workbook. Well, that's what we're going to do in this video using four different methods. Now, before we jump in, let's talk about the terminology. When I use the word workbook, I'm talking about the Excel file. That workbook that you open, it usually has a file extension called XLSX, and you open it in Excel, and that's the workbook. Now, within each workbook, we can have one or many worksheets, and those worksheets are represented by the tabs at the bottom. Now, what we want to do is talk about four different ways to combine or merge data from different worksheets and or different workbooks. First, we're going to move or copy, then we're going to paste special values, then we'll use Power Query from folder, and finally we'll use Power Query from workbook. All right, first up is move or copy sheet. And this would be a great option if there's just a few worksheets or if this is something you do one time and not on a recurring basis. Basically, we have three workbooks and we want to get the data from those three workbooks into a single workbook. So the first thing we do is head to the first workbook. We right click on the worksheet and say move or copy. And then we can say we want to move this sheet to whatever book we want. And then we also have the option to create a copy. If we create a copy, it means it's going to leave that original worksheet intact. If we don't create a copy, it's actually going to move that, and so the original workbook will no longer have that worksheet. In this case, we're just going to create a copy. So we check create a copy, and then we click OK. And now what we see is in our merge files workbook, we have a new sheet called 100. And then we just rinse and repeat. Right click, move or copy sheet, make a copy in the merge files workbook, and click OK. Right click, move or copy sheet, we want to send a copy to Merge Files, and we create a copy, and we click OK. And that's it. That's Move or Copy Sheet. At the end of the day, we have the original workbooks with the original worksheets intact because we created a copy, and we've merged those so that all of these worksheets are within a single workbook. Now later, we're going to show an easy way to take this data and combine it so it's all in a single worksheet. Okay, so the second option is a copy paste special values. And this is a good option if this is a one time project and there's not very much data to combine. And what we can do with this technique is we can be very specific about where we paste the data. We can paste it so it's stacked all on top of each other, or we can paste each range into its own worksheet. So we have some control there. But there is a little tip that I want to point out regarding this, which is pasting values. Okay, in this case, we want to paste it all into one combined worksheet. All right, so what we want to do is we want to head to the first workbook. This is the 100 workbook. We select any cell in the range, and we use the control A as a quick way to select all. We could also select that range manually if we prefer, but a keyboard shortcut is just control A. It's going to select all that, control C copy, and then we head to our destination workbook. So one option is to do a standard control V paste. When we do a standard paste, we may also bring in things that we don't intend. We might bring in data validation rules, cell formatting, formulas, external links, names, and a bunch of other funky stuff. So typically, if I'm going to copy paste from one workbook to another, rather than doing a standard paste, I'm going to do a paste special values. Depending on the version of Excel you have, you could paste special values with Control Shift V instead of Control V. You just add the shift in. And when that happens, what we get are the values. And that is beautiful because then we don't get all the extra cell attributes. Now, if you don't have the Control Shift V option, what you can always do is just cruise over to Paste and then go to Paste Values. Okay, and that will remove any formulas and other cell attributes. Okay, and then it's just rinse and repeat. Control A, Control C, and Control Shift V. And here I don't really want this header data, so I'm simply going to delete it. Last step is the 101 workbook. So we head over there, Control A, Control C, Alt Tab, Control Shift V, and let's go ahead and delete this as well. Cool? All right, let's go to the next option. All right, next up is using Power Query to pull all of the data from all of the workbooks in a given folder. And for this to work successfully, those files need to be in the same folder and they need to have something in common, whether it's the same sheet name or a table name. So let's go ahead and check it out. Data, get data from file from folder. Then we browse to the folder that contains the files we want and click open. Then we see a list of the files. And what we do is we say combine and load to. 
And then on this screen, we identify which sheet name we are going to retrieve for all the files. And that means that the sheets that contain the data that we want to bring in have to have the same exact name, whether it's the same sheet name or the same table name. Then we click OK. And now we're going to import the data into a single table. We'll throw it in a new worksheet and we'll click OK. <laughs> and there we have it. We've obtained all the data from all of the worksheets that were named sheet one throughout all of those workbooks that were in that folder. And it's been merged into a single data table. Pretty cool, right? Now here's the cool thing about that technique. If we were to add a new file into that folder, all we'd need to do is click the refresh all button and Power Query will retrieve the data that's in that new file as well. And similarly, if we take a file out of that folder and click refresh, then the results are updated accordingly. Now the question is, what happens if we want to pick and choose? Maybe all of the files are not in the same folder. Maybe the sheets don't have the same name. So in that case, what we want to do is a different Power Query technique. So let's get into that right now. All right, for this last technique, we're also going to use Power Query, but we're going to use a different option. And this is going to be a good fit if we need to pick and choose. For example, maybe all the workbooks are not stored in the same folder, and maybe the worksheets have different names, and you get the idea. So here what we're going to do is go to Data, get data from file, and then we pick Excel workbook, and then we browse to whatever folder and file that we want. At this point, we get a chance to look in and we get to say from this workbook, here's the sheet name. And by the way, if there were multiple sheets, we could select select multiple items and pick multiple worksheets. In this case, there's only one, so we pick it. Load to, and this time, rather than loading it to a table, we're going to create a connection only and click OK. All right, and then we just rinse and repeat, get data, from file, from workbook. We browse to any folder location that we want, pick any workbook, and then we have the option to then say, well, the worksheet name in this workbook is different. It's 101. And then once again, we load to a connection only query and click OK. And then we do this one more time from file, from workbook. We browse to anywhere this workbook is. We select it. Once we open it, we pick the worksheets name and click load to only create connection and then click OK. Now at this point, we have connections to three different workbooks that can be stored anywhere. We've identified the specific worksheet name, which could be different in each of the workbooks. And now we want to show the results. So if we want to show each of the tables in their own worksheets, all we need to do is right click and say load to and then click table. We could have also picked table originally and then we can click OK. And that's how we could set it up so that the data from each of these tables goes into their own worksheets. Now, what if we want all of these values combined into a single worksheet? For that, what we do is we need to create one more query. So get data, combine queries, and we select append. From here, we select three or more tables, and then we just pick these tables. So we want to start with 100, 101, 102, you could have as many as you want, and we click OK. Now, in this case, it's going to stack all the data on top of each other based on the column name. So this is assuming that all of the column labels or the headers, department ID, account ID, account name, are the same. And that's how it knows how to line them up. So once we have this in place, then we just close and load two. We select table, new worksheet is fine, and click OK. And just like that, all the data from all over the place um, is combined and stored in a single worksheet. By the way, if you use Excel and you'd like to save time, be sure to check out the seven time hacks video. It's a collection of seven time saving techniques that every Excel user should know. And so those are four different ways to really merge data from different worksheets and different workbooks. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully this helps. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 